for the record, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what I've done wrong. No comment. <laughs> Should we give the peeps an update? Yeah. Should we give the peeps an update? People ask me if I'm energized and motivating and inspiring and charismatic all the time. And the answer is, with the exception of a 5 a.m. flight, which <laughs> happens quite regularly, <laughs> I am. I'm not wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Not today. So we're just waiting for Jason to meet us here and then we'll go get some coffee. Some well needed coffee. A shadow and arch. Yeah. We've really just moved into the new house and then they're all by themselves. We've got our cousin coming to look after them. So hopefully. Yeah, Shout out. Good enough. I'm Indiana Burns. I'm watching you, Shmindy. Have a good day. Ash says that. She has something that people need to hear. I just wanted to inform you of how hilarious it is when every time we order a coffee, the different names that people come up with. Oh, my love, Calvin. We've had Carlton, Callum. What else have we had? Carmen. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had Carmen. <laughs> just gives me great entertainment when people are trying to figure out what he actually says. Calvin. Look, they have quite an exotic accent, <laughs> and it's it's a yeah. It's an advanced dialect that most people in Australia Carlton's are not, they're not associated with. That's <laughs> mostly because of the incredible dance moves. Because <laughs> they obviously mistake me from Will Smith from the movie Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> no, it can't be as bad. Once we had a person on our Facebook ads <laughs> when I was um, 2014, went to Dubai with Simon and Karim and uh, we hired supercars and I'm driving a Ferrari and I thought I'd do some content filming at the same time and someone posted on my Facebook feed, why is Ellen DeGeneres driving a Ferrari? So until someone calls me Ellen at the coffee shop, I think I'm gonna be okay. Got to Brisbane, we're here now. I don't know what Jace is doing, I think he's pretending to be important. Um, listen to a great book from Elena Cardone on the plane, which was awesome about building an empire. Super cool to be interviewing her later on um, next month. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Now going to hustle, get some work done. A flight leaves for Auckland in a couple of hours, so we'll get that done. And in the meantime, keep your goals. Okay, so we've just finished up in Brizzy Airport on the way to Auckland. Express. Got the Express Pass. And Chach is in the background there. I don't know what she's doing. Hoddling along. As always, late. <laughs> Surprise I let her on the plane. Chach. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are now for the paparazzi. <laughs> she's angry at me. What did I do? Wrong? I'm not being a dick. Does this face look like it's been a dick? This face looks like it's been lovely. What? On the reg? Yes. This is why I didn't want to do a video log because I because knew that I would constantly know. be insulted for no reason. Do you want the people to know the truth? Here, dick. For the record, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what I've done wrong. And this is why we can't have nice things. So just for the record, ladies and gentlemen, Ash knew this section was coming. So when we were looking at booking to stay, <laughs> Ash wanted to stay at the Ridges, and I said, no. I'm thirsty. We're I'm gonna stay about... where we deserve, at that <laughs> upper echelons, right on the, uh, the edge here. I mean, good. I wanna stay at a place that's got ropes hanging from the ceilings, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> and your place, not a fireplace like this place. Mm. This, I said, this is what we deserve. And she's like, no, we don't deserve it. I said, we do deserve it. She's like, no, we don't deserve it. I was like, we do deserve it. And, and anyway, she agreed with me. And we're here.
bubble up here. <laughs> it says atomic. If you're looking for milk lab in New Zealand slash Auckland, atomic has uh, the juice. It's a sweet taste of victory. Again, having prepped for tonight, got all the chairs ready to rock and roll, which is cool. Ash is getting all the intro stuff done. The guys are doing a great job getting everything set up. And uh, time is uh, 25 past five. So we'll be kicking it all off um, just before six, then starts at six, which will be good fun. So just stay relaxed and um, we'll see how we go tonight. It's gonna be a good night. So uh, here at the ridges, as you can see, waiting for Jason. Jason? And he's not here. And I don't know where he is. He's off there living his best life. Single, single life. He's not single. He has a relationship. Single in Auckland life. <laughs> no, I think he just slept in. Lauren, for the record, he just slept in. Early start this morning, four o'clock, to get out of bed. But we're here now, we're about to get on the plane in the sunny coast. So be good. We've also just been to the world's smallest virgin lounge of all time. But we're here, so kicking some goals. Bit of a hectic start to the morning. We um, woke up at, at four. I thought that we had to be there 90 minutes beforehand. So I freaked out because I was too tired to realize it was a 60 minute uh, beforehand check-in. So we had to freak out and run to the airport desk, but we managed to get there just in time. And um, yeah, just keep some goals. And the joy of having Platinum membership is you get to pass the queue. So here we are passing the queue. We landed. That's what it looks like when you get on a plane at four in the morning. Chat. <laughs> it's two in the morning this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> You've got a black hoodie, a, a brown jumper. Cold. You've got camo pants, yeah. white shoes, yes. and two different types of socks. <laughs> Ash just likes to. She's so much variety. So much variety. We play the game where we turn the lights off, and she just picks clothes, and she sees what comes out. <laughs> Getting a coffee. Number one. Number two. Gonna get a car. Number three, I'm gonna start driving. Subway. Can we get Subway? Yeah, probably we'll get Subway. That's two, um, 2 .5. And I'm uh, gonna drive to Maruchador. And here's the question, ladies and gentlemen. Who's got my money? Who's got it? So we've been here for a long time. Like two hours, waiting for our bags. Not quite two hours, but a long time. Now the bags are finally starting to come out. And it's like 10, 20. So I reckon we've been waiting for 40 minutes for our bags. Yep. Sometimes you gotta wait 10 minutes before you get a big... Good evening, Ruchino, how are we? Oh, let me ask that question again. Good evening, Ruchino, how are we? Who's seen me speak live before by show of hands? A couple of crazy people, I'm glad you came back. Who has not seen me speak live before by show of hands? Awesome. So if you haven't, uh, there's good news. There are people that came back. You want to explain what happened? Well, I don't know what, when was the last time we even touched face. It's been a hectic couple of days. Yeah. I think I checked in just before we did the event in Maruchador. So we had the event last night in Maruchador. Went well. Some some hiccups, as as is expected. 
So uh, we experienced some challenges with our Facebook marketing, which I think I already explained on this video anyway. Um, and so we got less people than we wanted to have in the room just because we had less leads. So I think we had 170 leads. We had, uh, what was it, about 60 rock up in the end? 63 rock up, um, which it's not great, but it's about it's about 30%, which is to be expected. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and then of the 63, we had a couple of clients that were already there with us as well. And at the time of sale, we had 34? Yeah. 34 potential purchases, and we got 10 upgrades. We actually got 12 upgrades, but two of them were people that are uh, single moms that are homeless at the moment, that are on Centrelink, like really challenging support. places. So we don't really count those sales because we'll probably not make any money there. But um, we're doing, uh, we got 10 sales of 30, 30, two potential prospects, which is great. Good conversion rate, not quite the 14 that we needed, but uh, the sales guys told me that they made a couple of sales yesterday. So we'll actually for the month, we'll hit our target of 50, um, which got a little bit short, but considering that we had two ad accounts shut down in that month during our campaign, I think we actually did pretty well to get to 46 or 40, 49, I think of 50. So I'm really happy with that. That's a great result for us. Um, so that was a win. Um, not really disappointed. I think what's important to know is that you're gonna have times where you hit targets and times when you don't. And the question is, did you lose or were you beaten? And for us, I know that we did the best that we could with what, everything that happened. We can't ask for any more than that. So that's pretty much where it's at. Um, so that was, a, that was a win. And then got home last night. It was good to see our uh, friends over on the sunny crew. coast. We had our crew. Yeah, um, crew. Yeah, big shout out to Eleanor and Rich who literally just got back from the United States and Canada respectively and, uh, and then came through as well. So it was cool to do that. Um, had a coffee this morning, got to the airport, tried to upgrade the business class. First they said they couldn't do it. Then they said they could do it. But by that time it was too late. And so there was just a whole heap of rigmarole that went on. And, um, and now we fly to Melbourne. We've got a couple hours in Melbourne, then we fly home tonight. We'll be home at nine o'clock, eight o'clock. So it's been a big couple of days. Yeah, it has. Highlight from the trip? Uh, I think this lady wants to talk to us about exit Oh, uh, really? Okay. <laughs>